So let's say that you're putting a lot of effort into building out content, whether it's a YouTube channel, a podcast, a blog forum, or whatever it is. You are putting content out, putting a lot of effort into it, and you wanna maximize it as much as possible. Well, one of those ways that you can do it, and by the way, if you aren't putting out content, this is one of the reasons why you should be doing it. But one of the ways to actually maximize the uh, potential of the content that you have going out is to create lead hooks for your marketing and for your business through the existing content that you have. So I'm gonna use a, a very specific example that is now my lead hook and it's come to fruition. If you have been following me at all, you know that I've been pushing this out really hard. Um, and also I have on previous videos talked about this here and there just a little bit. But uh, one of the lead hooks that I've created is this physical book right here. This book is about 210 pages. It's called the REI Marketing Book. So basically what happened was I have a podcast called REI Marketing Weekly. I have guests on the show. We spend 15, 20 minutes talking about the marketing that they're doing in their active real estate business. And that's pretty much it. Then it goes out as a podcast. I put that into a video format that goes on Facebook and YouTube. And that's pretty much it. So I decided that I wanted to run what's called the uh, Tim Ferriss model, which basically he has a book. If you guys know the book, Tools of Titans and Tribe of Mentors. Uh, basically what he did was he took his podcast and turned it into a book. And that's what I did with this. Now I'm not gonna whole, explain the whole process on how I did that. I do have another video that we'll have linked below for you guys, so make sure you do check that out. Uh, but for this book, I have created a lead hook. So a lead hook or a lead magnet, whatever you wanna call it, it's the same thing. Basically, this is something that is an asset, a marketing asset that you're gonna put out to the public in order to get people on your list. And basically, they're gonna sign up for it using their email, their contact info, uh, their phone number, and then they can get the book. Now, this is commonly known most people use eBooks or white pages and uh, stuff like that, but you can do this in a little bit of a different manner. I wanna use a physical book because I know my target demographic extremely well, and I know that they all read physical books. Uh, a lot of them listen to Audible, but if you've mailed them a physical book, now they've got my branding sitting on their desk for the duration of the existence of this book, and that's what I want. But in the meanwhile, I collected their contact info so I can use that data to market to them on whatever other products that I have. And I do have other products that I'm gonna be pitching them and chasing them around with. So that's the trick here. But creating assets for your marketing, which are lead hooks or lead magnets, can be done through the current content that you have out there. So another example would be uh, training videos, right? So if you have a bunch of videos out there on YouTube, segment them into a playlist of a very specific topic. So if you're a real estate investor, and you're talking about how to build a, a million dollar wholesaling business, create a playlist that has all the videos that you're talking about and then put those on your website and that can be used as a lead magnet for you. You could also do this with blogs, you could also do this with a course. I've, I've actually had a course built out from content that I had from a client and we built out an entire course. Uh, it was a free course, but it had all these videos in there and that was what attracted the leads to come in. So. Uh, that is the whole thing that you could do with content marketing. It's a very efficient and very easy way to do it and create lead magnets without having to actually create fresh, brand new content. Now, obviously there are times where you wanna do that and I do have another video on how to create lead hooks and what a lead hook is and all that, but this is a very basic uh, video that I wanted to bring your way because this is finally finished and it's absolutely incredible. Uh, we're only two months into the pre-order and we're about to crack 500 pre-orders on this book. That means 500 emails and contact information that I never had on my list and most all the people that are coming through and pre-ordering the book I've never even heard of in my entire life. But they're all target demographics because they're picking up a book on real estate investing marketing. So I know that they're qualified for my other products. So that's the power of what you can do with content marketing and create lead hooks. Make sure you take advantage of that and go try it out for yourself. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I have a bunch of links in the description below on how to contact me. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.